Hey yo, what's up guys? My name is Lappy. Okay, so for today's video, I'm gonna use a resolution which a lot of people may be used and may be done. In my opinion, the resolution of today's video is one of the best resolution for people who start to use stretch resolution. This resolution is 1600 by 1080 and in my opinion, this is the best resolution for beginners on Fortnite. So what we're gonna do on this video is test the FPS of this resolution and how it looks like when you are playing creative and battle royale. So once I say that I don't want to make the video too longer so let's start with the video don't forget that you can support me as creator using my code slappy in the Fortnite adding shop also you will participate if you use my code in a giveaway of 1000 V bucks card so if you want to participate use code slappy and don't forget to subscribe first of all I'm gonna show you how you can set the resolution and it's really but really simple if you want to have the stretchy resolution what you need to do is go to the game user settings scroll down and change these values to the resolution that we're gonna use on this time you need to switch the 1920 for 1600 so as you see over here we have the resolution already set it so the only thing that you need to do is click on file save and you're gonna have the resolution i would recommend you that if you don't want to waste your time doing this you better use the pack that you will have on the description okay so in the description you have the link of my website you need to go to the last post it's gonna have a pop-up you need to close it now you need to click again on the post scroll down click on download download the files on google drive and once you have the files you need to extract here and you're gonna have this folder on this folder we have the resolution that the only thing that you need to do is choose only copy the game user settings go to the game user settings folder and paste the files and replace it now you have the resolution and also you have timer resolution so if you don't have you can use timer resolution to reduce the input delay and also some files that you can use to reduce the input delay the only thing that you need to do is double click on it click on yes yes and okay you need to do the same for all of them and once you finish you're gonna have the best input delay possible now we can continue creating the custom resolution on the control panel on my case is nvidia if i was able to show up on amd i will show you but i don't know how to do it on nvidia first of all you need to go to actions desktop size and position make sure the scaling mode is on full screen the performance scaling on display the override activated and go to change resolution click on customize enable the resolution as possible by the display and create the custom resolution here we need to change the resolution to the one that we're gonna use and don't forget the refresh rate click on test as you can see we're currently having the resolution on our monitor so you need to click on yes click on ok scroll up and we're gonna have the resolution on the custom section we're gonna apply and as you can see we're currently having the resolution already on our monitor and also on fortnite so we're gonna use this resolution with the lowest input delay possible usually i use this type of resolution with the custom resolution and with the settings that i show you to reduce the input delay and to have the best input delay possible when you are playing so what i'm gonna do right now is go straight to fortnite test the fps and test couple matches on battle royale and creative okay as you can see on my case i like this resolution because it's good enough stretch it is really similar to the normal fob so what i'm gonna do right now is go to test the fps to see has more fps first of all i'm gonna show you before i start to show you the fps test the settings this is my settings and these settings will be the same for the other side so please don't worry i'm gonna use the same settings so the performance need to be the same okay before i continue please i'm gonna mention that right now i'm playing really bad i'm with other different mouse and my gameplay could be worse because i'm practicing with it and i'm not playing right well so maybe if you see missing shots in edits that's probably why and also i have an issue with my feet and i don't know why i'm getting 100 p i'm not gonna cap i'm gonna show you right now the as you see all the way up it's on 90 89 i'm gonna use this thing hey hey can you hear me hello all right no, this nigga sweaty he got it on cold look at him look at him look at him 
What is he saying, dude? <laughs> what is he laughing at? Reset? Should be full box? Oh my god, I can't reset my walls. Oh my god. GG GG Okay, so here I am on Battle Royale I don't speak too much I'm playing really bad I'm about to switch my mouse because my The new one, I don't like it at all I like the old, the old one Sorry man what? Bro, how am I gonna miss that shot? Bro, I'm so fucking bad, dude. Wow, bro. I'm missing the fucking shots. I'm gonna run away. Sorry, Sorry, man. Let's go. 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 Let's go.